Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the 97190 fully adjustable upper control arms. These arms feature forged steel ball joint pivots, standard bonded rubber with available Delrin bushing. The greasable ball joint is rebuildable. Full camber and caster adjustments are available without requiring loosening of the cross shaft bolts. In this video, the arms will be installed in a custom build truck using a C4 Corvette front suspension. Tech Tip Record initial alignment readings to help with the SPC adjustable arm initial setup. Lift and safely support front end of vehicle. Remove wheel and tire. Remove ball joint cotter pin and castle nut. Use a tie rod puller to break the taper between the ball joint post and the knuckle. Avoid hammers and pickle forks due to the Corvette aluminum knuckle. In this case, the outer two ball joint retaining bolt required removal for puller jaw engagement. If this is a custom installation with a potentially unknown knuckle, test fit the ball joint post in the knuckle taper. Here, a component ball joint post is being tested. The ball joint post must fit correctly in the knuckle with no rocking due to different taper angles. Not all knuckles, even from the same car maker, had the same angle or dimensions. This one fits well with no rocking. Loosen and remove OE upper control arm cross shaft mounting nuts. Remove OE upper control arm from vehicle. Note that some other components may need to be removed or shifted to allow removal. In this case, a crankcase catch can required shifting to allow the OE upper arm to be removed. For OE installations, other OE components may need attention. Initially, Adjust the SPC adjustable upper control arm to mimic the OE arm's geometry before installation. The pivot bolts at each pivot bushing housing and the pinch bolt, which holds the ball joint forgings together, need to be snug but not fully tightened. These points need to move during adjustment and are tightened later. Most SPC pivoting adjustable upper control arms are assembled with the bushing housings offset oriented in the up direction. For the 97190, the front bushing housing is oriented with the offset down, while the rear bushing housing is oriented with the more offset up. Tech Tip Instead of mimicking the OE geometry, change the ball joint position slightly in the directions needed for the desired alignment change. If camber needs to be more positive, adjust the SPC arm so the ball joint is slightly farther out than the OE arm. If camber needs to be more negative, adjust so the arm is shorter than the OE arm. If positive caster is desired, the most common change, adjust so the SPC arm's ball joint is further to the rear compared to the OE arm. Place one of the included cylindrical spacers on each of the cross shaft mounting bolts. This returns the pivot axis to its OE location. Place the SPC arm onto the cross shaft mounting bolts. Place a second cylindrical spacer on each bolt and the OE nuts. Tighten to OE torque specifications. Insert the ball joint post into the knuckle taper. Install and torque supplied ball joint castle nut to the specification listed in the instructions. Install supplied cotter pin. Some arms have taller ball joint posts than OE, so the ball joint boot may not contact the top of the knuckle. The boot seals against the ball joint post, not the knuckle top. 
Reinstall wheel and tire. More negative camber was requested as this is a competition vehicle. For a daily driver, road crown correction may be accomplished with cross camber and or cross caster. Camber pulls to the high side while caster pulls to the low side. Lower vehicle and torque wheels appropriately. Jounce to settle the suspension. Recompensate and reswing caster to obtain new readings. Note how the aligner is now set up for a C4 Corvette now. Adjust the arm by turning the adjuster hex with an open end wrench. When the desired alignment readings are reached, tighten the two jam nuts. Tighten both pivot bolts at the bushing housings to the listed torque. Caster was set to the high end of the caster tolerance window. All readings are even side to side because this truck will need to turn both directions. Test drive vehicle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow SPC on social media for new video releases and industry tech tips.